Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In the previous video, I have shown you how to make a object following car without a microcontroller. In this video, I will show you how to make it with Arduino and tell you what's the difference between them. So let's get started. For this project, you will need Arduino, L29810 motor driver. You can choose any of the motor driver you have. These are the different IR sensors available in the market. I will show you the difference between them. You can see in this IR sensor, when it detects any object, it gives the signal value low, that is zero. And when not detected any object, it gives one as signal value. And this is the other type of IR sensor. When any object is detected, it gives value one and when there is no detection, it gives value 0. If you have this kind of sensor, you can directly use it with motor driver. You can refer my previous video. You don't need any microcontroller for this. So for this project, I will be using these sensors. I am also using a breadboard, it's optional. And you will also need a 2 wheel or a 4 wheel car. I recommend you to use low RPM motors for this project. I have written the simplest program for this project. First I have defined all the pins. Then I have set up pin mode. The air proximity sensor will be the input and the motor driver will be the output pins. Then I have declared two variables, left and right. The data from the proximity sensors will be stored in this variables. The data will be 1 or 0. Then I have written few conditions where I will check this data left and right. If I get 0 and 0 from both the sensors, then the car will move in the forward direction. If I get 1 and 0 as shown in the video, then the car will move to the left side. 
and if I get 0 and 1, the car should move to the right side and if I get 1 and 1 from both the sensors, the car should stop. Now we have to select the board and port and upload the code. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.